everyone, and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. Now, I'm Jamie, I'm your host. We have our angel here in Hipster Curtis, his son Burns behind the camera, and we have our happy Honduran, Eddie. And again, Courtney has joined us. Uh, yeah. She's our enthusiast professional, I think we're calling her uh -huh. now, yeah. yes. uh, from Ben's Beverage Depot. Mm -hmm. And um, now, Courtney, we understand there's some things about you that you have a little side project that you're working on with... Uh, Teaching. Yes, yes. I um, am also a uh, Japanese teacher and tutor, and I teach the Japanese program at College for Kids every year. A um, couple of weeks during the summer, it's a really good time. I throw a lot of Asian candy at my kids to get them to try to study. It totally works. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. You can throw yeah. some at me anytime, please. Yeah. Well, you have to give me a vocabulary word. You don't get it for free. Okay. Candy's not free. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I'll get the learning. We may not have. Uh candy, but I think we have something else, Eddie. Why don't you go ahead and... Oh, we have something very special. Boom. Boom. We have a uh, couple here that... couple Japanese whiskeys. The Kurayoshi yeah. malt mm -hmm. whiskey. What do you guys got over there? The Hatozaki finest Japanese whiskey. And you were saying something about this, this label. Yeah, there's... Um, so when you are looking at a label for uh, Japanese whiskey, it will be the distillery name and the nice big uh, elaborate characters here, but this is amusing to me that says Japanese whiskey, which, I mean, Japanese whiskey, they have words for Japan and whiskey, but when they write it in this particular script, it's supposed to make it stand out. And so I think they're really trying to make their particular whiskey stand out as a result of this is Japanese whiskey. This is Japanese whiskey? Yes. Written in whiskey. We want to start with the young one? Yep. Okay. Okay, let's do the young one. Go ahead, pass it to Curtis. Okay, don't know a lot about this. Me neither. Picked it up uh, over at uh, Family Beer in East Dubuque. Went over there and made a whiskey run, you know. Mm -hmm. Have to do that every month or so because does it, bro. even though Ben's does great things for us, they can't get everything we want. Yeah, not everything comes into the state right away. Yeah. Or ever. Yeah. Sometimes ever. Huh? Thanks, Iowa. Yeah. So I know nothing about this whiskey. I was hoping that you would. I have never heard of the I, the Hatozaki. Make sure I pronounce it right. The Hatozaki. Um, Japanese whiskey is really interesting in that um, they are their each individual distillery is its own entity. They don't share like malts with each other or whiskeys to blend you do everything in house you even have all of your own types of barrels uh, in different sizes um, from different countries and everything you do everything in one place so it's really everything japanese that you get is really like single origin it's just from this one in house 100 100 mm -hmm. that's wonderful they keep that secret to how they do it yeah pretty they, much all their own right so um when you have something everything from every distillery is the purest expression of what they do it's kind of reminds me of the samurai just from the get-go because they like they 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 uh they used to focus on their skill every single day and just practice their skill and just focus on just being the best of what they could be. That's just the Japanese way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the way of the sword right here. Now, I know very little about Japanese whiskey. I, my friend Steve ha has Japanese whiskey. I've had some in his house. And I think I might have come down here and when you weren't looking, I, I snuck a sip. Oh, I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> I've been known to do that. So I'm kind of excited to try this and see what it has. Okay, to the nose, what are you guys getting? Because I'm getting a little bit of a peat. That's what I thought. Like a weird. Yeah, originally, right like when I first. Weird little peat. When it first hit me, I thought that. Does this have rice in it at all? Mm -mm. What are the grains? Do you know? I'm not sure about that, but mm. rice whiskey would be labeled rice whiskey. Okay. Because uh, the oldest stone, stone lighthouse in Japan. Maybe it's corn I'm smelling. I don't know. It is to say. Is anybody else getting medicine? Medical? Yeah. Yeah. No. You talk about the medicinal, and then we had a little bit. I had some peat, like initially, yeah. when I had peat. Is there similarities between Japanese whiskey and scotch? There is, because um, Japanese whiskey came to be in Japan because after um, 
uh, at the like the end of the 19th century when Japan opened their country because they were like a closed country for a hundred or so years. And when they opened back up the country, they're kind of like, what did we miss out on in the world? Mm -hmm. So they sent out a gentleman to learn how to make whiskey. And he went to the University of Glasgow in Scotland and learned like chemistry. And then he like studied and learned how to make scotch. And then he came back to Japan was like, I know how to make whiskey. And then um, he and another gentleman named Tori are the inception of the company Suntory. Oh, and so, okay. Yeah, okay. So, but inevitably that uh, company split because, um, and I can't off the top of my head think of his name, the gentleman that went to Scotland to learn how to make scotch made really peaty, smoky scotch. Mm -hmm. But then Tori did not feel that the Japanese palate would really like peaty and smoky. So they split and he kept Suntory and then um, the other gentleman opened Nika. Nika. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, so, I've seen this. Right, so Nika kind of whiskeys are more like a Scottish style with peaty, smoky, phenolic, medicinal, that sort of thing. Whereas like Suntory is going to be a lot lighter, um, sometimes botanical, a lot of, you know, they're complex, but not peaty and smoky. Gosh, that is so wonderful that this can happen like this where, hey, we got something and we mix it together. It doesn't work out, so let's split it. And we can be really creative here yeah. and really creative on the other side, but it's just the origin is from somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, I love that kind of crap. Now so I uh, propose yeah. that I quit the show and you just have Courtney do it. Well, she's, <laughs> she's very good at it, like the history. She knows, she knows way more than I do. She's good with the history. She's a lot more attractive, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah that's true, too. <laughs> I'm working on growing up my hair, though. I don't have... Beautiful, long, you know, the angel hair. No, I know. Hair. Yeah. You guys do it just fine, lady. <laughs> <laughs> we can pause for a sec if you guys want to like enjoy it and then we'll move to the next one. Okay.